G'day folks, just a little update on the uh, little PC I'm building up for Dad. Uh, he'll be quite happy with this because, uh, well, Tomb Raider works and pretty much everything else should. I'm going to give him my Unreal 2 Series 2. I haven't played this in ages, I don't think I'll ever play it again, so I'll give it to him and he can play through it for the first time. I mean, that was designed for Pentium 3 733. That's old, fairly old by today's standards. It still runs, runs nicely on the older stuff. Uh, what's he also got? Tomb Raider Legend, and I think that one's... I can't remember what that one's called. Um, Anniversary Edition. Hopefully it's not going to freak out because I took the game disc out. Hopefully games aren't that uh, that picky these days. But yeah, it does work. So, yeah, next thing, try Unreal 2. I couldn't find his Far Cry disc, but when he gets back I'll... Uh, I'll grab it off him. So we'll try uh, Far Cry on this. It should be just fine. If his old PC was struggling to run it, this thing should absolutely blaze through it. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, onward. Yeah, never mind, it's not installed. Disk swapping. Good old compact disk CD. You can't fit a whole game on one of them anymore. It's all DVD ROM like these. Some of these are about 7 gig. Fairly big. As far as where I put the hard drive, it's directly under the monitor now going crosswise up to, up against the power supply. Uh, there's no ventilation slots or anything in there, so I just screwed it to the back panel of the computer case and put some rubber padding on top of it. It's about, about as good as the uh, last mounting. It looks bad, but it works. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> it's pretty awful. But the, big, the graphics card does fit in there. The 9400 GT does fit in there now, so that's all working with its big cooler on it. Um, case case uh, ventilation's pretty good so I'm happy with that it'll do well enough to uh, keep that occupied with some games I'll give him a copy of um, yeah, Far Cry and probably even um, I was just thinking Deus Ex, the original one, that'd be a good game I'll give him a copy of Deus Ex, maybe even um, the bad one like the second release that they did what was it? Uh, Invisible War that was an awful game, but I don't know, I don't think he'd care. He doesn't do much role-playing games, so it'll be interesting to see how well he goes in it. Uh, just while I'm continuing the install, I just thought I'd log into uh, World of Warcraft for the first time in probably month, several months, see if my account still works and everything. It's all patched up now, so I think there's probably about 25 gigabytes in the game directory, which is crazy, but that's sort of what it does. Now, I just noticed the hard drive LED for that one's stuck on. That's odd. Might just have to reboot it. Um, that, those boards don't really do anything apart from being cosmetic, but the um, LEDs, although I haven't finished wiring it, they're all connected through there. That cable just loops back around and feeds into the back plane of this whole assembly. Uh, likewise, I haven't found any decent use for the PLC yet, but that's coming when I get time. I need to stick these up there. I might just put a double silicon on them and stick them up there permanently. The double-sided tape gets hot and just lets go. I hate the stuff on hot, high-temperature areas. And there's still some laptop drives to sort out too. But yeah, as you can see, if anyone on my channel does play WoW, I'm really, really on. But there's my uh, list. If you want to add anyone, you'll see some uh, Death Clock and uh, uh, Cannibal Corpse references there. There's Hans Lander from uh, Inglorious Bastards. Aussie 50, my monk, one of one of my monks actually. I really like doing that starting zone, Pandera and starting zone. Um, Squizgar's my druid. I've changed the. Um, there's supposed to be another R on the name, but I changed that just to get the name in. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Good game for when you're out of work and you've really got nothing better to do. But these days, YouTube's my hobby. Gaming's like a Sunday thing only. I can't say I've ever played a game much outside of Sundays really. It's a good way to do it. So anyway, onwards. Aha, uh -huh, it works. So it kept crit erroring every time I loaded it up but I realised I hadn't installed speakers and it was saying it was having trouble with music on the crit error. So uh, I checked my audio drivers and I had the wrong one installed. So I've redone that and now we have surround sound going to the main amplifier through giant AV cables and it uh, works well. So we can skip the cinematic. I've got it uh, 1920 by 720p widescreen 
everything on maximum so this should work just fine considering how old the game is but yeah works well it's a good game to get I mean it's not as good as the original unreal as far as um, as, gr as ground bait groundbreaking as unreal was it's still a fantastic game it's old now so you'll probably be able to pick it up for like a dollar 99 on Steam if it's on Steam but overall I'd say it's pretty good Graphics wise, it's sort of like a, well it's the Unreal Engine, it's the early 2000s era Unreal Engine, so that's what you get. Yeah, can't skip that, but it's actual gameplay, uh, physics and everything. <laughs> Commander Hawkins, sir. Clunk, clunky old AI. <laughs> God. It doesn't look so good these days compared with something like Far Cry 3. You can see this is a three band plug that people suggested that I try and uh, I found that right channel wasn't working unless I was plugged into the uh, video plug so on the case of this one which came I think this came new with the um, Sharp TV, the brand new Aquas TV that I bought but I got a, set of, a few sets of these that can be plugged into other devices and um, yeah, I found that audio right actually be, is the um, video connector on these, but it is working all right. It hasn't popped the sound card like you used to be able to, putting mono plugs into them. Um, nowadays they're pretty well protected, but it's the old stuff that could be blown up pretty easy. Um, yeah, game's running just fine. I won't fault that one. I'll let Dad play it until something horrible happens. <laughs> if there is a bug in the game, it'll show up. I had problems installing it because the discs are a bit scratched. So on the third try, I actually got it to install properly, but who knows? It's an old game. It's been around for quite a while. I played it a lot of times. Having to load the disc in every time you want to play it is why a lot of these discs just get ruined. Whereas things like um, games that you just register on Steam, once it's registered, you don't have to get the disc out of its box again until you want to reinstall it. So it's a lot safer that way. I'd much prefer it if they did it that way back in the day, but of course they don't, and that's understandable. Old technology. At least games like Deus Ex didn't have to do that. The game, game CD is still intact for that one, but I'll have to find out where I put it. Anyway, that's all for this one, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll let him let my dad test run it before he goes up north, and I'll work out any kinks in the system while he's down here, but he's moving north in a couple of... Oh, three weeks, I think. I'm going to take a week off work and get everything sorted out and go back up north for a few years. He comes down here for a while and stays with me at my place, and goes back up north for a few more years or something like that and it's just a back and forth thing he likes to travel around maybe even go to the other side of the country maybe go west or something one day i don't know anyway thanks for watching hope um that'll be de definitely be, be impressed to have a decent computer rather than the old uh acer junker that he's got i'm pretty sure it's either a pentium 4 or a core 2 or not a core 2 but just a pentium d and that thing's a piece of junk all the drivers are proprietary you can't even just, in, I couldn't even get a proper install of Windows to work on the thing.